Most people see it, Lightning, as a scary movie. T to me, it was just real life. The movie wasn't re it wasn't fake. It was. I'm Phil Broskovac. I'm 57 years old. Ten years ago, I was climbing in Wyoming uh, in a place called Vitavu uh, with my family. I was basically doing a day of just fun in the sun, but in the process of that, a thunderstorm moved overhead. Decided to climb up one more time and take out the gear that I had placed as an anchor on the top and traverse to the side to wrap down some pre-placed bolts. When I got there, things didn't go quite well. The rope got snagged and tangled, and in that process, the storm really rolled onto my shoulders and I was soaking wet and took a, a pretty serious uh, strike. It, the flash was right here and it just pulsed right across me, shat, shat, rattled me around and threw me off the ledge. When I came to, I was really very disoriented, but I recognized immediately that my family, my kids were on the ground and they were all freaked out, screaming, crying, thinking I was dead because they hung there for a while and just told everybody, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, and I went to the ground as fast as I could and we all ran away uh, to safety. The very next day, I recognized things weren't okay. I couldn't stand up straight. I hurt from head to toe. Little sounds made me very agitated. And from that point, uh, symptoms came on over a period of years that were tremendously difficult to deal with. I was at first able to tie or to sort of write off a lot of these things to just, oh, I'm tired or I work too hard. It was when I started not being able to keep my body in the temperature moderated in my body where I could be uh, outside in the snow and, and sweating or I could be outside in the sun in a down blanket and freezing. When you take a global pulse of electricity, it really what it does is essentially boils the insulation off of your nerves and everything just becomes a, con a confused, chaotic jumble of nonsense to you. It was traumatic to sit at my keyboard and not figure out how to write words like the all of a sudden. And that's when you realize something is just not right. Something has gone completely haywire. I am a different person now. I think the one that got hit is dead. I miss that person because that person was a lot more confident. That person was a lot more assured of themselves. The person who came out of that was uh, very timid, very nervous, very uh, lacking in personal confidence. I think a year or two after the, the strike, I was in the grocery store. Last thing I had to do was go get produce, and I'm walking down the produce aisle thinking nothing, everything's fine, and then they go to water their vegetables, and before they do, they make little lights flash, and they make thunder sounds, and then they spray the water, and I freaked out completely. I pushed the metal cart as far away as me. I mean, I went crashing into some vegetable bin, and I went down into the, into the uh, lightning pose, which is balls of feet, hands over your ears, as small as you can be with your mouth open. And there was no lightning strike. So that when I finally looked around, I was looking at all these people staring at me like they were watching a person have a complete and utter break, which they had. And I had to run, I had to leave. I couldn't grab my groceries. I fled the place on, for lots of emotions and got in my car and had a, and I had to cry. It was like, you know, wondering, is this ever gonna end? Am I ever gonna be normal again? The importance of what I want people to understand is that it can happen anywhere, to anybody. You don't have to be out in the middle of the most exposed whatever. You can be in your backyard and just, just not paying attention to the fact that you ought to be in the house. It's an irony to me, I think, that I climbed all these serious things in, in much more serious storms, and yet I get, I get lit up, I get hit in some place that's basically pedestrian.